All right, here we are. Out at the Tulela bubble. There's a few guys out here. Look at that morning. Beautiful. Just kind of kicks off the season here. It's a tiny area with a ton of guys. They have to be 22 inches long here. They can be wild or clipped. Um, but yeah, got the new downrigger set up. I'm gonna try to figure that out. And uh, what am I gonna put for smelly jelly? Got a little skinny hearing aid. This flasher right here seems to work pretty good. Say little boat, little. I think the boom I got is just perfect for this boat. I think an extended boom, I really didn't need one. go there it is we got the rod bent new downrigger looking good I like it. it's gonna take a little bit getting used to but I think it's gonna work just perfect all right we're on yeah, we're on to something You got a baby. We got a little guy. <laughs> and not a keeper, but man, that is fun. Oh, you get a hold of it. Got to be 22 inches. We have a nice little resident. Look at that. Not bad. We're just going to do a release here. It's a good looking fish. There you go. See you later. Not bad. First fish of the year. There it is. Downrigger works. Oh, I'm happy. It's going to be a good year. I love it. Look at it out here. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is beautiful. Um, All right. Well, I didn't have the GoPro on for this one. This one hit it so hard that I did not have time to turn the GoPro on. This fish. I could not get it in the net. Oh, what a fight. Oh my. What a fight. Oh my goodness. Oh man, my adrenaline is pumping. I could not get this guy in the net. I have fought this one. Oh, look at that. Big resident king salmon. Oh my, and it's a hatchery too. It's got the adipose fin missing. Look at this sucker. Let me get my stuff out of the way here. Look at how big that thing is. Oh my, picture of this. I didn't have the GoPro on. 
you know, I was gonna hit the record button and uh, catch it, but this thing hit so hard that I just I just turned and grabbed the pole and I uh, didn't even push the button. Um, didn't have time. Wish I would have, but I didn't, so I don't have that fight. Uh, maybe one of these days I'll learn to have my uh, GoPro on all the time. But to catch this fish, I just cannot believe it. I probably have 42 inches a liter here down to this little skinny, um, I think it's a herring aid. Down to this flasher here with a little glow strip on it. of that fin just the fin the tail fin alone it's like eight and a half inches <laughs> that's a huge fish oh look at those spots man what a nice fish i got a little rough out here i think uh, right now is about the best time to head back it's gonna get a little windy so i'm happy with what I got, I don't need to stick around. The season has just begun, though. More to come. So, what a good morning. Look at all these guys. A little tiny area. I'll do it again. Come here. Look. Come here. Alright, so I'm back and tonight's fresh caught simple cook is brought to you by the salmon that I caught this morning. So I'm heating up the skillet for the asparagus and I've already preheated the oven but I'm going to start by cutting some slits in the salmon. It's really nice and soft. This is a tail portion and I'm going to put butter in the slits. And I'm going to cross-contaminate my butter again because I seem to be really good at that. Lots of butter. Doesn't hurt at all. And I'm going to have some extra virgin olive oil and mix it with minced garlic. And today I'm going to cook in glass. I'm going to add some salt. And my mixture of olive oil and garlic. And one thing I forgot was lemon. So I was going to squeeze lemon on it and put lemon slices, but I think this will be just fine the way it is. Cover it, and I'm going to cook it at 400 degrees for 30 minutes. And I've already preheated. It's hot. Whew. All right, we'll go timer. minutes. 
for the asparagus. Plenty of butter again, my cross-contaminated butter. And the rest of my olive oil. Maybe a little more olive oil. And about a little more garlic. Okay, add the asparagus. And I'm gonna let this cook for a little bit and I'll be right back. All right, here we go, the countdown. The asparagus is done. See what we have. And of course, I don't have an oven mitt, so here we go. I heard bubbling in there. That is perfect. That is done. Look at that, the, uh, the skin stayed right on the bottom. That's perfect. Got to make sure not to touch that. That's, that's hot. All right. Add some asparagus. There it is. Fresh caught this morning, Puget Sound Resident Chinook, and a simple cook. I know it's hot, but I'm going to give it a try. Look at that. That is nice. Still moist. Perfect. Mmm. That is good. Okay, well, keep following. There's some more salmon to come. The season has just begun. We haven't even really kicked off the main season yet. It's still May, and uh, maybe we'll make it out for some more lingcod. But there it is. We'll see you later.